Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good, good, good stuff. Lydia Day Dahl, MMA Connect TV backstage at Clash of the Titans in the National Stadium, Dublin, with a victorious <laughs> Caitlin Phelan. How, How are you, you feeling? Go, oh, unbelievable. Doesn't even feel real yet. <laughs> Pro debut. I know, yeah, and on live TV as well. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Everyone's dream, finally. Absolutely, absolutely. I obviously just had your brother in here for an interview. Yeah. It was great. I think you might be the first brother-sister combo to yeah, get go Yeah, we got told we're making history because brother and sister are on the card and two wins as well. Yeah, absolutely. Big night for the family as well. Talk to me about the decision to turn pro. What was it and when did you find out about the card tonight? So I've actually, I've wanted it for a few years. I've had my contract, like my form signed for the Boxing Union of Ireland for about three years. Yeah. Hid them away from the mommy and daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and so I finally, they let me turn pro and it's just something I've always wanted. I knew inside me that I'm made for the professional. Lighter gloves, no headgear. Absolutely. More going to war. <laughs> Nothing better. <laughs> Good stuff. When did you find out that it was going to be broadcast live on TG Car? We actually only found out like a week and a half ago. <laughs> did that change things? Did you have nerves? Were you a little bit like... A little bit. Not too much. I tried not to think of it that much. It's just like, it's another fight. Get in. Show them what I can do. Show them what I'm made of. Yeah. And be the best <laughs> absolutely what is it about fighting like what is it about actually getting in there that you love the most you just as soon as you step through them ropes you zone out even when you're walking into the ring you can feel the crowd you can feel the energy from the crowd coming inside yeah. you and you just you get this feeling inside you it's, it's hard to explain but it's just it's amazing and you're so young you're 18 when did you turn 18 i turned 18 last may so i'm there 19 yeah so still very young yeah you're very young. the youngest female pro in ireland obviously not the youngest pro because james powers out there so yeah. he got there first damn you james <laughs> he got there first gonna kill him <laughs> <laughs> but to be the first female that's that's incredible it's you know that's yeah. making history as you say there's two mm -hmm. two two things you're making history. <laughs> yeah. um, and obviously like the support that you had outside you know i know your brother was here as well your dad was in your corner like that's amazing yes yeah, so my dad and my uncle were in my corner both of them so family yeah. <laughs> and then alan was there as well yeah of course is that really important you know that everyone contributes and is, is part of the kind of unit I suppose. It's, um, it's great having the support like we had a, a big pink double-decker bus coming up full of people we arrived at the doors and they're like oh god here's the Claire crowd. Yeah, well, it was amazing because there was the support was fantastic yeah. you could hear them and, and you could, could see them. them. Hearing them chanting in the ring gives you that little bit more of a drive and you're like yeah that's it. Amazing. <laughs> What's the plan now going forward where you look to take more fights that you know where at what month are we? God what month are we? March. Ma March. March. <laughs> I, like, I think so. <laughs> what year is it? Where, what's my name? Where am I? <laughs> um, but uh, obviously you take more fights this year or what's the plan? Oh, oh yeah, definitely. As much as I can get, throw them at me, I'll be ready for them. So. And in terms of, I mean, obviously, you know, Katie Taylor is in the news the whole time with, with you know, obviously what she just got the third belt there two weeks ago and their movie's been out. Yeah. So I, anytime there's like a female boxer on the show, it's like, you know, who's your inspiration? What do you want to achieve in your career? But obviously you look up to someone like Katie Taylor. Yeah, I actually, I look up to a girl from Boston, Heather the Heat Hardy. Yes, she, uh, yeah, yeah. she's just unbelievable, and she's actually friends with my brother Alan because he trained in Gleason's with her. Wow, so, ha and she's supporting me, like commenting on my stuff and texting me good luck and giving me tips and that. So it's unbelievable to have someone like her. Brilliant. She's well. incredible. She because uh, what a lot when she made her MMA transition, a yeah. lot of people didn't know that she had such a good or yeah, uh, exactly. boxing heritage, you know. Yeah. And uh, she loves to fight as well. It's oh, brilliant. Yes. Yeah. There's no point getting in if you're not going to fight. Absolutely. Throw them at me. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like to see. And um, but listen, it was great to get you on the show. Finally, finally, I've heard I so much. I see you on Instagram. I was like, I'm going to be on that someday, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Um, but before I let you go, do you have any thank yous that you need to? Say oh yeah, a huge thank you to especially my family, my dad. He's, be dad? he's behind me. Jump in, jump this in, my dad. dad and then my, un my uncle John there as well. Come on, John. Come on, oh, no, come on. He doesn't no, he's not jumping in. <laughs> he's shy. He's shy. He's shy. He's not shy. A proud night for the family. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all your Christmas together for us, really. Yeah. Very emotional time. Um, it's been tough now to get get them here to this level, but look, we're here, and I think it's going to be massive going forward. Yeah. Youngest pro in Ireland and history. Youngest female. female pro. Don't sorry. James yeah, James. Yeah. <laughs> but you know to get the two of them on the one show and the two two good wins. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and the plan with Kate wasn't to go out to try knock anyone out or do anything like that. It's just to learn the game and mm -hmm. get the four rounds in. And she's done exactly what she was told. Obviously, they've been under your tutelage for a yeah. long time. Yeah. But but how is it seen, especially your daughter, go in there and, and box? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been looking at Caitlin a long time. I just always thought there was something special about her. Yeah. Like Caitlin was eight weeks premature, so she was fighting from day one. Her lungs never developed. And as a as a baby in, in an incubator, we nearly lost her a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And she's still fighting. Yeah. Thank born God. For she's born for fighting. Yeah, but I just think the programme will suit her, her style. And she's always developed that style from a very young age. You know, so I poor mommy and daddy haven't slept in about two months. <laughs> no. Did you get a good night's sleep tonight? 
Yeah, I, I'd say I'll end up in a coma. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, I'll probably end up in a coma after tonight. I'm just literally wore out. Um, yeah. It's been tough to get to get here, but look, we've done it. Um, massive. Can't believe it. So proud. Yeah. Really proud moment for us. Well, well done. It's great to see. And as I said to Caitlin and to Alan as well, the support outside was fantastic. It's a family affair. It you is. know, and it's an extended family, it not only it just is. yourself. It's nice to have people following because it's, it's a tough game. Mm -hmm. You have to sell your tickets. You don't sell your tickets... It's you get, you get nothing out of it. Yeah. Caitlin didn't want nothing out of it. She just wanted to get in, get the win. She was happy with that. But it's nice to get some little thing back. Um, and yes, it's hard if you get a decent, good sponsor. Yeah. I think this young lady is like someone going forward, so it could be an opportunity for some business. Absolutely. For, you know, I really think so. Um, to get her name out there with her, I think she's going forward and. I think there's massive opportunities for her, you know. And arguably, you know, having the support of you and your mom as well, that's the biggest step. I mean, there's a lot of fighters out there that, you know, go home and they don't have the support or they don't have family that understands what it takes. Them, so yeah. I would, the whole family's involved. My sister helps me train and with my diet and then my brother Darren, he helps out as well. He loves shouting at me, so he's moving in phases. <laughs> and then obviously my dad's training me and then yeah. my mom just for dealing with me, to be honest, I'd that's be lost true. without her brilliant. and it's brilliant. It's yeah, it's been it's been a tough battle to get here, you know, to to make the transition from amateur to pro. I, I just think the pro game suits are better. Brilliant, they really do. Well, it's an exciting time, definitely, and I look forward to seeing what you're doing. It's fantastic, yeah. and uh, lovely to meet you. I'm um, well done. Congratulations <laughs> on the successful raising of two great boxers, um, Kay Field and her dad. Sorry, I didn't even get your name, Paddy, Paddy and yeah. Paddy Field. I just want to give a big shout out yes. to Hair Bell, at Hair and Beauty in Kildare Town. Be completely lost without them girls. Absolutely. Making my hair stay in. Get them sponsors <laughs> in. Thing. So I'd be lost out them ladies. So stuff, thank you. Well, Thanks, Willie. Great to meet you again. No problem at all. <laughs> my pleasure. Caitlin Feeling for MMA Connect TV.